Greetings fellow programmers, this is Pavel and this is part 6 of the uh, Visual Basic exercise and we are creating the savings and check-in account. So um, we started to create the transaction account uh, class, I mean we already created the account and presentation. Uh, in this exercise, in this video, I'm going to start actually putting it together with the uh, actual form. So. I'm going to go to into our form and uh, I'm going to start declaring a few things so I can test it uh, you know so I can whether there's any problems already because right now if I run it uh, oh, it won't even compile let me see what the error is oh I have the display balance which I did not even uh, create the uh, method for it yet but uh, so I, if I run it now it's still nothing there, despite of everything uh, that we did, there's uh, nothing displayed because we didn't do anything about it, uh, how to display it in the, on the form yet. So um, let's do that. So I uh, go to our form and uh, remember we have some events for the check-in and savings account, whether it's, you know, uh, the amount by zero or uh, insufficient funds and also the account change when we change in from the savings to check-in and vice versa so we have to declare a few uh, few variables with events so dim with events those are the event listeners so I'll create a check-in account as account and it will equal to new account and I'll pass the name check into it and I'll do the same for the savings with events I'll call it savings account as account account and I'll pass savings to it so now I created two uh, two objects one for checking and one for savings so now I can do the transaction as well. So with events, uh, this is gonna be, uh, you know what? I already have transaction, so I'll just do underscore transaction uh, as transaction. So it just so I, it doesn't kind of hide each other. So I know which one is which. So transaction equals new transaction. Just a blank. I'm just uh, creating the default uh, transaction with no uh, no arguments in the constructor. Uh, so uh, I'm not even sure if I'll need it, but uh, I think I will. Uh, I have a feeling I will. So uh, and do dim uh, checking account mode as boolean, and this is what's gonna be determining. Uh, whether it's checking or saving so it's like a toggle between uh, checking and savings and finally I'll need uh, something like transfer I call it transfer flag as boolean I'll initialize it to false for example and this is uh, if transfer this is not a to to have the transfer committed or anything. This is basically if I click uh, the transfer button. So uh, because when I do again, remember the first video, we need to do two transactions: one for check-in, like transfer from check-in, so we need to update check-in account, and we also need to update savings account at the same time. So uh, I need to have a way of uh, knowing. Whether this button was clicked because it's not the same as deposit or withdrawal. So, uh, so if transfer is clicked, as a special conditions apply. There you go. Good enough. All right. So um, the load. So what do we do when we load? Well, by default, let's do check account mode equals true so it's a check-in account loads as 
default that's the mode so now we have we set the mode to true and now we can do the combo box because when I open it now nothing is selected but by default since this is checking account I won't select it the uh, check-in so combo I call it account dot selected index equals zero that's the first that's checking and I will update the date that just stays there uh, in the text box so it's text it's date time dot today date so if I run it now actually hold on I forgot I have to comment this because I don't have that again I don't have that uh, uh, method yet so it should load I have the date over here and I have check-in by default over here all right so uh, I guess we're on a good start so um, the next thing when we change the index over here on the uh, on the drop down so when we switch the accounts we need to figure out what happens then so uh, I will do something like dim account to display a string equals combo count dot selected item to string so basically if checking is uh, selected the account to display is checking if it's savings obviously it's savings so uh, I'm going to create an object as account and we can do something like if account to display equals check-in then the check account mode is true because it's check-in remember and false is for uh, savings and account equals the check account our object will equal the check account which is over here in other words it's checking and else the check account mode is false because it's savings and the account will equal the savings account which is over here so now we that's how we determine you know which account is being selected and what the what needs to be select uh, what file we need to read and what file we need to display in the grid view we will read to, uh, we need to reset the uh, account balance uh, to zero See, when we read it uh, you know from the drop down uh, they would simply the account balance would be uh, changing with each read we have to reset it as we are uh, you know up updating the uh, the data in the grid view because the account balance would be just adding the new account balance on top of the old one it wouldn't just add the transaction it would it would be just adding the whole thing because we read all the transactions from the file uh, every time we change the accounts so it would just read all the amounts and add them all to the uh, account balance that was there previously so we have to uh, reset it to zero so uh, let me just comment it uh, need to reset balance because we read uh, the files with uh, each um how would i formulate it with each uh, drop down menu change otherwise the balance would keep adding up i guess adding up to the previous balance all right well that's what we're doing that's why we have to reset it uh, like I said 
because it would uh, just loop through all the fi all the uh, amounts in the file and add them to the balance that was already stored in the checking or savings balances. So next one we will call the transaction, uh, not transparency key, transaction dot and we can finally read the files we will pass the account to it remember transaction read the files over here we pass in the account based on the account name it knows what the file to open and it reads the files and adds them into the into the lists it doesn't display it here it just adds the transactions into the list and it, uh, as well as the uh, uh, corresponding balances so uh, now we can just display the data so we can do in a presentation yeah uh, which one was it uh, maybe I don't even have that yet oh never mind it's the first one of course uh, we'll call this method and change forms and within it it will call it will set the grid it will refresh the form based on the account that is being selected and finally it displays the actual data all right so uh, so we will do presentation that change form and it's asking for the account so we will just pass it and that should actually display the data and what do you know here they are but we do not have the uh, the headings I see and uh, if I change it Oh, it, did, it did change but it doesn't display the balance in the text box which we need to do all right but it seems to be semi working so uh, let me go to the presentation and uh, see why I don't have the uh, the headings um, well, you know what? First, actually, I forgot. I have this method that I wanted to uh, do, and now I can. And it's just gonna be private because it's gonna be called only from uh, this one method. Uh, private sub display balance. This is gonna display the balance in on the form uh, over here, which is a read-only uh, text box. So what balance are we gonna be displaying? Well, we'll need to pass it to it. So balance as double. And we are passing it already to it over here, you can see. Uh, so display balance, form accounts.txt, text balance.txt equals, and I'll just format it. Actually, I'll format currency and I'll format the balance that we are passing in to two decimal places and I have it oh that's because this one is shared so I have to make this one shared as well so if I run it now I should have the balance displayed uh, and I do have thousand dollars from checking that should be the last and it is it's the last transaction that we made and that's also the last uh, current balance and if I go to savings I have five hundred and fifty dollars over here so uh, yeah that seems to be working if I change it back it's still thousand it doesn't add up it creates like I said we uh, adjusted it to zero and uh, uh, read all the files again okay so uh, that's that and um, 
what's next in the transaction well we need to kind of write the files as we are doing the uh, transactions after each transaction we need to you know write a new line on the appropriate file so let's do that for the you know when we I'm um, sorry when we deposit or withdraw or write a check or transfer from one account to another so uh, stick around and I'll see you in the next video take care